Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a HomePod mini that keeps disconnecting. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be outlining six specific things that you can do to hopefully stop your home your home pod mini from continually disconnecting. I was gonna, 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 I was gonna call it a home frog, okay? Listen, this is not a home frog, this is a home pod. I was gonna say home pod mini from disconnecting. And the F in the from with the home pod just messed me up, but it's all good. So let's get right into the video. Here are the six things. Number one, unplug and plug back in your Wi-Fi modem or router, okay? Now, oftentimes, because your HomePod mini goes off of Wi-Fi for the most part, and your phone connects to it with Wi-Fi for the most part, as far as I know, um, you should just reset your, your router or your modem. Sometimes, you know, like even for myself, I oftentimes will unplug and plug back in my Wi-Fi router or modem uh, like once a month because it's slow or something's happening. I kind of just reset it and it pretty much always fixes the problem, okay? So just unplug your Wi-Fi router or modem and plug it back in. Make sure you leave it unplugged for like 30 seconds to sort of uh, restart it or, or reset it, okay? See if that works. The number two, restart your phone. So just literally go to your phone and turn off your phone and turn it back on. It doesn't have to be like a hard reset yet. Just turn off your phone and turn it back on. See if that fixes the problem. Leave it off for about 30 seconds. See if that helps out because we're trying to narrow it down as to whether it's the HomePod that's causing the problem or the phone that's causing the problem or the connection between them both or the Wi-Fi. It can be any of those things or even the power to be honest with you. So, you know, restart your phone, okay? Number three, do a hard reset or a or a forced restart on your phone. So depending on your iPhone model, okay, there are different ways to do this for different models. So I'm not going to go over each phone, but you're going to go ahead and look up for your iPhone how to do a hard reset or forced restart, not a factory, not a factory reset. A factory reset is when you wipe the entire phone. We're not doing that. That's not what you want to do. A force restart or a hard reset is when you use the buttons on the phone to force it to restart without doing anything on the touch screen, okay? Um, and it just sort of, you know, resets the hardware and the software and just restarts it. Um, and if there's any glitches, it usually does a good job at fixing those glitches. So you want to go ahead and do a hard reset or a forced restart on your phone. Number four, unplug the HomePod mini, leave it unplugged for 10 seconds at least and plug it back in. I would recommend you leave it unplugged for like 30 seconds just to be safe. So if yours is plugged in, unplug it, leave it unplugged for like 30 seconds, plug it back in. Sometimes all that it takes is just the restart of your HomePod mini and that's essentially how you restart it, okay? So by restarting your HomePod mini, if there's a software glitch or a hardware glitch, you're probably gonna clear that up, okay? So, you know, sometimes they're updating and, and maybe it gets caught on a little, a little piece of the update doesn't fully correct itself or work properly. There's so many things that can happen, but by unplugging it, leaving it unplugged for about 30 seconds and plugging it back in, you're restarting it, which might help the problem of it always disconnecting. Number five, try to manage Manually update the HomePod firmware. Now, for the most part, HomePods will update themselves. They, they should update themselves. That's the way that they're designed, right? But sometimes it doesn't work for one reason or another. It happens, right? It's technology. So by going on your phone, you can actually see if there's an update available for your HomePod and you can manually update it. And you can, I'm like, that's a whole other video. I'm gonna do a separate video on how to do that. Um, but by going on your phone and going to try to, going to, to your HomePod as an accessory, um, you can see if there's an update for the firmware and you can manually update it. So go ahead, see if your HomePod is up to date and if not, manually update it. Maybe that's causing the problem of it continually disconnecting because maybe there's a glitch that they fixed in the latest update, okay? Or maybe the update just didn't process fully, okay? Last but not least is number six, which is to factory reset the HomePod mini and set it up again. Now, luckily for you, factory resetting the HomePod mini only takes like a minute or two and setting it up again only takes like a minute or two as well. So it's really easy to do. Okay, um, I'm debating whether or not I should explain how to do it in this video. I'll probably tell you because it's really quick. So to factory reset your HomePod mini, all that you got to do is unplug your HomePod mini, okay? And then you want to wait about 10 seconds with it unplugged, then plug it back in, 
okay? Then once it's plugged in, you want to wait a few seconds, maybe like five to 10 seconds, and then get your finger and hold your finger down on the top center over here. Hold your finger down on the top center, okay? What's gonna happen is a red little light is gonna be circling, okay? And your HomePod will say to you, will announce, your HomePod will be resetting after three beeps, and then there will be three beeps, and then they will power down and restart. Once those three beeps happen, Okay, and it powers down, you can remove your hand, you can remove your finger, and it restarts as a fresh, you know, HomePod Mini. Now remember, when you factory reset it, it is, it is, it is completely starting from scratch. Now, like I said, luckily, it's pretty quick to set up, um, and it's pretty quick to factory reset, but just remember, you are, like, erasing all of, you know, it's like, you, it's like you're taking it out of the box again. It's like it's brand new, okay? It's a completely fresh unit when you do this. That's it. Try those things out. Hopefully, you can prevent your HomePod Mini from continually disconnecting. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And, of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.